The phrase, selling the family silver, became the most celebrated, if not the deepest, criticism of Mrs Thatcher's privatisation programme. Though Harold Macmillan never used those exact words, at a dinner of the Tory reform group, wets, moderates, europhiles, none of them one of us, the former Prime Minister devised a more extended metaphor that drew on an aristocratic lifestyle that had been failing since its heyday in his Edwardian childhood. When individuals or estates ran into financial trouble, he said, they would commonly sell a few of their assets. First the Georgian silver goes, then all that nice furniture that used to be in the saloon, and then the canalettos go. <laughs> Laughter and uproar was had by all, but there is a serious point being made here. It's easy to confuse economic terms, income, wealth, liabilities, assets. Income is like water running from a tap. Whilst the tap is open, the water flows. When the tap turns off, the water stops. The plug in the bottom of the sink is how you create wealth, by allowing less water out than water coming in from the tap. An asset, say a well with a water pump, is something that generates more water ready to flow from the tap. And a liability could be a garden hose with which you pour water all over your garden, and is something which reduces your amount of water, i.e. it costs you. So, assets make you money and liabilities cost you money. In the UK, we have spent the last 40 years selling off our assets. This is called privatisation, or in banker terms, leveraging the balance sheet. So you can see that as you sell off your water wells, you have less and less ability to service or balance your liabilities. Now the government keeps talking about investment this and investment that. For example, the new nuclear power plant at Hinkley Point, and of course gas fracking exploration. But in every case, these projects are funded by outside investors. In these two cases, it is China and France. So what is happening here is that China and France are building water wells in our backyard and charging us for them. That makes them a liability to us and an asset to them, which for the frugal-minded amongst you is probably not what you want to do.